Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn how we can use the count if function for multiple criteria. So in the count function you have in my previous video you have seen I have used the count if function where I have used only a single criteria. So in order to if you want to use multiple criteria then you have to use the count ifs function. So we will see how we can use this function but before that I have this test data uh, the scenario okay so I have a product a team and an amount I should have another column here and I, I think yeah it will be good like if I if I will add one more column here with the sales field okay let me add here so I will explain it just one second I, I, let me type this and then I will explain so and this first person is Mike then Lily Li, then Suji then Veronica okay <coughs> Patrick Adam Bob and then that's the okay Tom Rick Rosie okay so okay let me explain this one so I have some products so product A product B product C and product D so I'm selling so I have a company and I'm selling four products product A product B product C and product D and these are the salesperson okay so they are selling this product and this salesperson the salesmen are divided into four four teams or four groups so yellow red blue and green okay and these are the amounts that they have sold this is this is the amount that they have sold for these products okay so product b mike has sold product b for 1678 like Lily for product C, she has sold for 1345. Likewise, Patrick, like, uh, $567. So, like that, they have sold the products, these products A, B, C, and D. And they belong to, to this group red, yellow, green, and blue. So, let's use the count is function and see for multiple criteria how we can check this data, analyze this data. Right. I will create this table for this one also okay so this looks better yeah okay <clears throat> so I'll be explaining I'll be discussing the count if function also but let's start with the count ifs and multiple criteria so say like I want to see pro product B product B how many products has been sold for product B within the range of within the range of 1000 within the range of 1000 and 200 okay let's say that first so i'll use i'll write it here equal to uh, I'll do count of if so this is the function if you see this is the function so count ifs and this is the range first of all range is the parameter then criteria and then again a range and then criteria so likewise it will continue okay so what is the range first of all that we are looking for so first of all we want to see we want to look for product b right and this is the range and then okay till here this is the range okay so i'll just keep comma and i'll give open quotes then I'll write the product B product B product B okay so this is the first first criteria should be product B and then and then I'm checking for the amount right so it should be this is the range this is the range I'm looking for and it should be 
greater than 200 I'll just enter and see what it is giving it is giving 0 so if I see then product B product B what is it B2 D1 okay here is a mistake here I have done okay I will just give enter so there was a mistake from my end so this is correct so there was a code extra code and closing bracket so if you see I'm looking for product B that is greater than 200 so product B greater than 200 is I'm getting only one if you see how many product weeks are let me count the product B okay so product B is this one so it is hundred dollar hundred it has sold so product B this is 198 dollar 198 it has been sold for 198 by Rick and this is and the third one is is this one product B that is 1678 so this is the highest right so this is below 200 okay so this here I have given two conditions right okay I'll write this is product B greater than 200 okay only one next I'll write another criteria here I'll just copy the formula copy the formula here and I'll paste it here okay I'll check for another product now <coughs> so product a it should be greater than 200 and I want this to be in the range of 200 to 1500 okay so this is the range and I'll give comma and then less than it should be since greater than 2000 and less than 1000 okay i'll close the code i'll close the code and then enter i say there are two products so the range is between i'm looking for product okay this is for product a only okay i, I can change this if you want to see for product b but uh, since i copied this product a oh <laughs> what i am saying i'm so sorry i'm making you confused anyway this is so product a i'm looking for product a that is greater than 200 and it is less than 1000 so I'm getting two products so product A and I'll, I'll color this so that we can identify we put it to yellow product A so this is product A and this is also product A right so here so my criteria is it is greater than 200 use city greater than 200 and less than 1000 right so here I have put is this you are getting two products that is between this range right between 200 and 1000 so I see this is uh, this is greater than 1000 so this one come up so this is five six seven and this is 276 so these two products are coming right let's say another another one another example i'll copy this one only again i'll see for product let's see for product c i'll paste it here i'll see for product c at all right so this is this is product c the range is the same and let's change this one to 100 let's see what it comes okay okay you see here it is giving two so the condition is between uh, it should be greater than 100 and less than uh, 
will greater than 100 and less than 1000 it's a similar one like product a where we have checked for greater than 200 and less than 1000 so i'm getting two products so right so product c product c i'll change it to another color let's uh, keep let's put this color product c one two this is product c and this is product c so this is one three four five this is greater than one thousand this is product c is less than one thousand and this is product c that is 200 so that is greater than 100 right so friends like this uh, you, you can try this one and you can use a count if function count ifs function to use it for multiple criteria i hope you understand now i will say uh, let me show the example for this one also for count if function Uh, put it to center this one okay. uh, move it to center now this is the count ifs function this is the count ifs function true we have put the multiple criteria you can keep on uh, putting some other criteria also as per your requirement you can try that and if you can if you have any issues you can comment it in the comment section and now what is the count if function? Let's see. I'll tell you the difference also. So, if we write the count if function here, equal to count if. If you see the count if function. So, in count if function, you will just have a range and the criteria, right? So you you just have only one. You can only only select the range and criteria. But in count ifs, you can have multiple criteria. So that is the difference between this count if and count ifs. Now let me write a simple calculation here for the count if. I'll select this range. So this is the range. And what I will do, I'll just select greater than 100, greater than 500. All those, those are greater than 500. So I'll close this, close this and enter. So I have five values, those are greater than 500, but I cannot put more than one conditions here. So that is the difference between count if and count ifs. So I hope friends, you will like this video. So if you like this, give a like to this video and I'll, I'll say thank you. Thank you for watching and supporting me. And also if you are new to this channel, then I would request like please do subscribe to my channel for new Google Seed videos and tech videos. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Bye bye.